Hey, Air Signs, and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your December 29th daily love reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, Aquarius, Libra, and Gemini. And we got cards flying out all over the place. Okay. Two cards for Libra. Whoa. Okay, and three cards for Aquarius. Okay, you guys got five cards, Aquarius. You must have a lot going on. Okay. And the shared energy and overall theme of your guys' reading. Okay. Bottom of the deck is the Wheel of Fortune in reverse. So experiencing some hard times right now. Um, somebody is um, holding back emotionally. They're not wanting to emotionally invest currently in a situation. Um, they're holding back out of fear of deceitful energy that has happened in the past. This is either your energy or the person that you guys are dealing with. Yeah, no longer wanting to nurture a relationship and not allowing a cycle to complete. So that pretty much matches the cards on the table. I'm gonna tip you guys down here. All right, first row here is Gemini. All right, Geminis, you guys, uh, yeah, you guys, uh, <clears throat> have been needing to find some patience, uh, within the connection coming back together, um, with the temperance angel, um, you are getting help from the divine with this connection. You guys are moving back into, um, a, a relationship with somebody that you have been separated from. Um, in the past, you could have been the third party, and that's why they weren't wanting to invest and why this deceitful energy was in the past. Um, they are coming back, though, very, um, very well. Uh, they know what they want now, and they're ready to go after it. They are going to start moving to action. Um, <clears throat> you could be dealing with a Sagittarius. Um, <laughs> excuse me. Or... Uh, Oh my goodness. I don't even have a cold. I don't know what that's all about. So you could be dealing with a Sagittarius or an Aries or a Leo. Um, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio here. You know what? I'm going to pull some clarifiers on this. Why temperance? Thank you. Definite heavy Leo energy here as well as Sagittarius. Okay, so um, you have been through a lot with this person. You have had to um, have a lot of strength to get through this healing process that you have had to deal with this uh, with this person, Gemini. You guys, um, I am on that light. I'm sorry, it's like blinding me. Um, you guys have been through hell and back with this person that you are waiting um, to return. They are returning, so um, try to remember patience and that you have control of the situation. You can walk away at any time that you want. Um, I do see them returning very soon. However, they're wanting to create a new beginning with you, create a new life. Um, they're letting you know that they're ready to take action. Um, you could be starting a business with a partner as well, um, and this will get off the ground. At one point in time, you were the mistress um, to this uh fire sign, individual, fire or water. Um, but they are, they are, um, releasing any outside energy. So remain strong, continue to keep healing and, um, be patient if you are wanting to wait for this person. Like I said, 
Um, you don't have to, you have control of the situation. You can walk away if you would like. Your wishes are going to um, be coming a reality very soon, Gemini. Um, some of you could have been overindulging in the absence of this person as well. Um, yeah, but there's no reason to um, stress out about this connection anymore. This caused you a lot of, um, a lot of emotional grief, but it's by your own thoughts. Um, you were worried this person could have been away for a while and wasn't speaking. And so you allowed your thoughts to get the best of you. Um, that is no longer going to be the case because it's in the reverse and the page of swords. So if they weren't speaking to you, they are going to be reaching out to you very soon or you to them. This person has kept a close eye on you um, in your time of absence. Uh, they had to leave a family situation with the Ten of Pentacles in reverse. The cycle is coming to an end and you were worried that it wasn't ever going to end. You were worried that they were just stringing you along. But that's no longer going to be an issue. That's no longer going to be um, something that you're losing sleep over. Because they're going to come forward and make an offer. A big offer. Um, nothing nothing small about this offer. They really do love you. They want to create a whole new life with you. Create a whole new world. Um, this is a heavy soulmate energy um, as well. And they are going to come forward today. and Or, you know, in the next couple of days. Uh and ease your mind about this relationship as well as um, make you a very beautiful offer. Um, be cautious. This person has still has the Ten of Pentacles in reverse, however. So they have not completely finished that cycle with somebody else. Um, so just keep that in mind when they're making you this offer. All right, Libras. You guys have a lot of conflict around you. Um, a lot of... Could be fighting with a partner. I just five of wands here for Libra. Could be fighting with a partner about outside um, people uh, trying to uh, get your partner away from you or try to date your partner and your partner's not um, making those energies um, go away. So with the Nine of Cups here, you're feeling very emotionally drained. You're feeling like they don't um, consider your thoughts, your feelings when it comes to outside them speaking with other people. Um, it could be texting, uh, talking to them on the internet. You're finding this out and it's really upsetting you. It's really draining you as well as feeling like your prayers aren't being heard. Um, you just want the fighting to stop. You just want to feel uh, peace within yourself. You just want to feel um, like you can be um, in a relationship and be confident that this person is faithful to you. You've had a couple run-ins with bad relationships in the past, so um, you thought this one was going to be different, and it's and it's turning out that there's a lot of conflict between the two of you. It's calling for you to take a time of rest. Take the time you need to heal um, your head and your heart uh, from the ending of this relationship, from the ending of this uh, family situation. Um, you have the Ten of Pentacles twice, both in reverse, so you are ending a cycle with somebody. You are ending a relationship that you had uh, with somebody and it's just you really need to take the time to uh, rest and recover, recuperate, rejuvenate your mind, body, and soul and allow this cycle to close um, so you can have a new beginning. You are, you have a hangman clarified by the hangman. So you are going to take a step back. You are going to look at the big picture for quite some time now, you didn't want to believe this was going on. So even though the evidence was right in front of you, you were looking past it. You were allowing your your ego to um, talk you into it being what you wanted it to be instead of what it really was. But you are um, going to take some time to look at all the information that you have gathered, all, this, all the situations or all the things that didn't feel quite right when it was happening or now starting to add up and you are you are coming out awakened to what this connection is and that you need to let it go um yeah yeah it's time to just let this situation go for you libras if this person comes back to you um i would be very cautious about giving them another chance 
because this is um, energy that is um, seeming to be toxic at the moment. Like I said, you are um, coming to the end of a cycle with a relationship. Um, you thought this person was going to, you know, give you a family. You thought this person was going to be there for, for real for you. And, and that's, hasn't been the case this far. You are tired of the sleepless nights. You're tired of worrying where they're at. You're tired of them, you texting them and they don't answer you for hours later. Um, you're no longer allowing that energy to, uh, to keep you, keep your mind racing constantly. Um, and you're going to let that go and in search of somebody who can honestly and, uh, for real fill your 10 of cups to, that can provide you with that family that you want to create so bad that can emotionally fulfill you and you not have to worry about them, um, you know, being with anyone else. For some of you, the partner that you are with, there's a lot of conflict going on because there could be an overindulgence of alcohol or drugs as well. Um, and it's just really uh, financially draining you guys. And, and you're just needing to get away from this situation. Like I said, the situation is pretty toxic for you Libras. So you are making the right move uh, as far as choosing to love yourself first. You are taking a step back and allowing um, allowing yourself to see all sides of things. Because like I said, you were um, telling yourself what you, the information that you knew wasn't correct because you were talking yourself into believing something that the relationship wasn't. But you will find this 10 of cups. Uh, you will find this partner, but you got to let these cycles in first. You got to release this toxic energy that is in your space. And Aquarius, you guys got quite the cards here. You're having a tough time too. Everybody's having a rough time with that wheel of fortune in reverse at the bottom of your deck. You're um, experiencing uh, quite the shakeup, shakedown, whatever uh, way you want to look at it. Things uh, feel like they're coming crashing down around you and there's nothing that you can do about it. You feel helpless. Um, you feel like um, you feel like this person just really had no regard for your feelings. You, this is happening so fast. However, you are finding out some information from somewhere. You haven't been trusting your intuition. The, your inner voice has been trying to tell you um, that something was going on. And now that the secret is out, the tower is falling for this Aquarius group. Um, secrets are coming out. You are finding out, out something that's going to shake something up. Uh, it is going to cause you to move forward, move away from this connection. You're going to leave the rough waters of the tower and you are going to move forward and work on healing these, uh, these swords, these wounds that this tower moment has created. Um, let's see. Why is the tower here in Aquarius? Um, yeah, you have temperance and the eight of pentacles that came out with the tower. So uh, you're needing to find some healing, some uh, balance back in your life. This situation is really shaking you up and this has already happened, however. So if this hasn't happened yet, then don't worry, don't fret. But it's going to take some hard work to um, to get your, your self-confidence back up, to get your... Um, to get your energy balanced again, it is going to take some hard work, but you don't mind working hard Aquarius and you will recover from this tower moment, um, quite quickly, actually quicker than what you would think. Yeah, this person wasn't speaking the truth. They were keeping you confused intentionally. Um, they were hoping that if they made you think that, uh, you were wrong all the time or made you think that you were crazy, that this actually wasn't going on. These secrets, um, weren't actually being kept from you. Uh, they made you think that, that you were just confused all the time and you know better. So you are moving away from this energy, um, to find clarity because you know, you can't find it where you're at because there's no truth being spoken with that ace, um, in reverse. You know they're lying. You just don't know exactly what about. And um, 
you're making the conscious decision to no longer turn a blind eye to this energy and pretend like it's not happening. Yeah, the magician. Somebody is somebody was playing with your mind. Like I said, they were manipulating you, or they were um, uh, trying to make you believe these illusions that they were they were speaking with the magician in the reverse. That's a lot of head games. Um, and you're no longer turning a blind eye to that. You're no longer playing the dummy. Um, like you would just play along like, uh-huh, yep, yeah, I believe you. You know, and all the while you're making a mental note of, well, that didn't add up. That didn't add up. That didn't add up. And now you're no longer putting up with that. Uh, you feel defeated by this uh, situation. You feel like you had this one. You felt like this was a great relationship. And now you're just feeling... Um, like you, uh, you're, you're very like emotionally beat up. Like you just came back from war. Um, you are making a conscious decision with the two of swords in the reverse again, and the queen of swords. You are going to cut out of your life, um, make, make forward steps to get out of this energy that feels so defeating to you. Um, you're making the choice once again to escape this energy that is stealing your happiness, that is lying to you, that is manipulating you, making you feel like a fool. Um, and you're no longer going to put up with that. Um, even if you have to leave this relationship feeling like you lost a great deal, you are going to do it anyways because you're tired of feeling like this. You're tired of uh, you're tired of the secrets. You could have been this person's third party and you are finding out that they are not leaving a spouse and so you're deciding to move on and uh no longer believe the bullshit lies that this person's telling you and even though you feel um like you lost you're still going to be victorious in the end uh because they're not leaving this family situation anytime soon uh for this group of you they are they are uh having a hard time ending this cycle with somebody because they're living in, in a fantasy land. They're living, they're remembering all the happy memories, but they're not remembering any of the uh, negative times. So they're having a hard time leaving and closing out these cycles because this is somebody from their past um, that they have emotionally invested in quite a bit as well as have a lot of shared property. And you're no longer allowing this to keep you up crying at night. You are tired of feeling this energy and you are moving away and towards a much happier and better connection in your future Aquarius. So like I said, you guys all have kind of a rough energy that you're dealing with today, but better things are coming for you. Um, trust me. All right. Let's pull some uh, tarot of sexual magic. No, I don't know what I did with those cards. Just wanted to see them. Oh, there they are. Okay. So um, we will do air sign singles first. Air sign singles, generally do Aquarius, December 29th, 2018. I expect to for them, where they need to go. All right, Gemini, the Nine of Swords, Libra, the Strength card, and Aquarius, the Ace of Pentacles. Your guys' is, um, yeah, your guys' is, uh, overall energy and foundation is the King of Wands in reverse. Oops. And your outlook is the fool. Clarified by the lovers and the three of pentacles. Okay. So, uh, Gemini, uh, you guys are waiting on this new beginning from an Aries, um, a Gemini, or a Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or an air sign. I do feel this is your energy, though. Um, you are 
uh, dreaming a lot about this person, dreaming about a new beginning. Um, you are separated right now. You are not together. These are all dreams. Um, you are waiting for this new beginning from somebody um, that has to make a choice between two lovers. They are not making that choice yet, but you are hoping that they will choose you. Trust them that they will come forward um, and choose you. Uh, you guys are getting out of a yeah. You guys are getting out of a relationship uh, with a fire sign um, of your past. This uh, is tying into your first reading as well. You're having a hard time moving away from this connection because, like I said, you're dreaming a lot about them. You're thinking a lot about them. Um, you're thinking about the you know the intimate times you guys spent together, the connection the two of you have together, the bond that in the in this deck with the three pinnacles. I don't know how bad how bad that glare is or if you can see that very well but um this uh this girl is just in his arms like she just ran and jumped and he caught her she trusts him that he's going to catch her so this relationship um had a lot of trust at one point in time this relationship was very sexual very passionate very um very connected this could be a um twin flame that you are in separation from and that's why you're having a hard time moving away from it. There's a lot of emotional um, heartache here, but there's also that connection that you're having a hard time letting go of, even though they have somebody else currently that they are trying to escape from. You have the faith that this person is coming back. This person is going to give you the new beginning that they have promised you. Looks very positive. Um, within the next three weeks, three months, uh, this person could be coming back to you. Heavy Aries here. Um, and you had a lot of fire in your last reading as well. So, all right, Libra, you guys are, uh, getting the strength card. So, um, facing, facing, uh, facing your own demons is what I'm hearing for one, but for, uh, a, the majority of you, this is, you don't need anybody else to be happy. You don't need anybody else to give you a new beginning. You are strong enough to do this by yourself. You are strong enough to, um, wow, well, then you <laughs> strength in reverse flip. So you are strong enough, even though you don't feel it, you feel weak. You feel um, like you can't face your fear of being alone. It's time to allow this person that um, broke your heart. This uh, person could be very controlling uh, very uh, dominating as far as who you can talk to, where you can go. Um, so much so that this person um, controlled a lot of aspects in your life to where you almost feel like you don't know how to live without them telling you what to do. And the universe is saying, you can do this. You have the strength. You have the, the ability. You have what it takes to make it on your own. So don't feel like you have to have this person controlling you in order to be successful, in order to have a new beginning and start out fresh. Um, in this energy, uh, somebody was, uh, gosh, I can't have a hard time picking up these cards. Um, in the background, you see that he's walking past uh, two people on the ground there. Um, he knows that he's being cheated on. He knows that they're uh, doing shit behind his back and he don't care. He's walking on blissfully happy, walking on on his new path, knowing that the next relationship he has, he's not going to have to deal with that. He's not going to have to deal with the third party energy. Um, and he's going to be able to walk towards somebody that he can trust. Um, so you do have the strength. You have the strength to do this. You have the strength to heal and, um, and have a new beginning with somebody who deserves you and not somebody who treats you like this. All right. And Aquarius, Ace of Pentacles. I said you guys were coming to the end in your last reading with those tens. Um, you are walking away from that. You are ending those cycles. And here you are showing up in the singles reading um, with the Ace of Pentacles. Beautiful. New beginnings on the horizon. Somebody who deserves you and who will treat you right. Give you an overabundance in every emotion, thought, feeling that you can imagine. A new beginning is here for you. Now that you are getting out of this place of being trapped by your own emotional thoughts, being trapped by this person that you have been waiting on for so long, they didn't make a choice 
uh, a lover. So you're making the choice for them and you're walking on Aquarius and you are going to um, find this new beginning, this gift from the universe waiting for you. Um, and it's going to be a relationship that you can trust, a relationship that you can invest in, that you can count on. You can take this one to the bank with the Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. This is a beautiful connection coming for you. All you have to do is to walk forward, to walk away, to get that uh, new beginning of the fool, um, starting out fresh with beautiful energy and no longer allowing this third party uh, to affect you, no longer allowing these thoughts to keep you trapped in a relationship where you weren't treated right. You see they're walking away from the swords here and they are walking forward and um, towards the Ace of Pentacles. So very positive for you singles. Uh, great energy. Libra, just remember you have the strength to um, to move forward and and be successful at healing and moving on. For some of you, there is just a really uh, like controlling energy around you. Reach out to friends if um, you feel that you can't get out of it. Like literally, you can't get out of that relationship. Because nobody deserves to be treated like that. All right. All right. Here's my dating, married, or in between. If you're in separation, I suggest you watch them both as your messages can um, go back and forth between our singles and our couple. Okay. I'm going to leave it Aquarius couples. All right, Gemini. You guys have the Nine of Cups in reverse. Libra, you have the King of Pentacles in reverse. And Aquarius couples, ooh, you have the Death in reverse. All right. What's going on with our couples? Your foundation is the Seven of Cups. And your outcome is the World. Clarified by the Hierophant and the King of Swords in reverse. Ew. That is a not a good combination of energies. Okay. All right. So, Gemini, you guys, um, you guys have put a lot of hope and faith in your partner. Uh, a lot of trust. There's been a lot of celebration, a lot of good times. But you are now experiencing um, some not so good times with this person. They're emotionally draining you. Um, yeah, in the past, yeah, in the past, they were like drowning you in love. And now I see they're drowning you in heartbreak to the point where you're running dry. You don't have much more to give. Um, you are ending or nearing the end of a major life cycle here with the world. Um, and it has to do with, uh, a marriage or a long-term commitment and a a king of swords in reverse somebody who's out of control this person could be um having numerous partners this person um is going outside of the marriage outside of the commitment and uh they they're just i see the woman in the window watching her uh her king her husband in with somebody else, uh, you are finding out, or you have already found out about this situation. So if you don't know about it yet, then it's not for you. Don't make it fit um, where it doesn't where it doesn't need to. Where is the next for our Gemini? Some of you are just deciding to. Um, that card wanted to flip too. I knew that was going to come out. Some of you are just deciding to leave on your own. Because this relationship no longer satisfies you and you are tired of the deceitful energy. So you are the one that is ending this. It is coming to a completion very soon and you are manifesting a new beginning. You're manifesting um, whatever it takes to get these cups turned right side up and your wishes to come true again. To have that partner to emotionally invest in. Um, this will... Uh, come to a close, <clears throat> excuse me, or this will come to uh, a completion point as soon as 
you um, release this energy that is just, this person is like freaking crazy. They're insane. Like, I don't mean to be rude, but like, they're the ones that are out screwing around and yet they'll come home and make you believe it's your fault. Make you believe that um, if you wouldn't have done something, they wouldn't have done this. Uh, almost borderline narcissistic um, mental issues. And I don't mean that in a derogatory or uh, to offend anybody, but that is what I'm seeing with this person. And it's just time to leave this emotionally draining uh, connection and commitment here and manifest what you want out of life, what you deserve. Life's too short to be living in an energy like this. Um, so allow that cycle to come to an end and, and move forward in, uh, and in search of love. For you Libras, you guys have the King of Pentacles in reverse. So um, there's somebody also in your life, a partner, a, a spouse, long-term partner, whatever the case may be. Um, they, you are waiting on them to leave a relationship, um, to leave a situation that they are no longer happy and it is in delay. There's something, um, that is going on between this person and their spouse. Um, even though the spouse knows that there is, uh, another party that they're trying to keep this from ending because they're worried about finances and they just um, don't want to uh, give this person the separation they're asking for. Uh, so there is a little bit of delay here for you Libras, but um, you're waiting for this King of Pentacles to uh, end their cycle, uh, this major life cycle, so you can um, start investing in each other. So you can start building this life of uh, your Ten of Pentacles. You're waiting on somebody, but there is some delay. I am telling you, it could be delayed by 10 days, 10 weeks, um, not 10 months, thank goodness, but there is some delay from what they originally had told you. All right, Aquarius, you guys have the death in reverse. Um, trying to stop an ending from happening. Trying When you have the world and the death here in reverse, this is major. You're putting more effort into trying to stop this from happening, trying to stop this from ending than what it would take to walk away and heal from the situation because they're both out. That means they're both coming. The world is the end. It is, it's done there. And that's, that's all there is to say about that. So it is coming. So don't fight this transformation because once you go through this beautiful transformation, you emerge even amazing, even more amazing than what you already are. And you complete this cycle and then you are ready for a new beginning um, with somebody who will not treat you like this or step out of the marriage like this. Why is the death card here in reverse? Why is the death card here in reverse? Thank you. Yeah, this is this is emotionally draining you as well. There is no happiness here. You are nothing, you know, you feel like nobody's hearing your prayers. You feel like you're not getting your way. You just feel really drained. The person that you are trying to keep this ending from happening with could be um, over uh, drinking, drinking a lot or using substances to um, numb the pain, or they could be, um, they could have a sexual addiction uh, and they're just, they're not being fair to you. So allow this uh, transformation in your life to happen. Allow that to come to an end so you can then close out the cycle and start a new beginning. Start fresh, start new, and bring in the love that you deserve. Um, because this transformation, it may be hard, it may um, not be fun at all times, but it is going to bring in a beautiful new you. It's going to usher in a beautiful new life cycle a major life cycle, um, and a life partner for you, Aquarius. So, so try to avoid fighting that, uh, that death card, um, uh, much longer so you can get on the road to a new relationship. So air signs, I hope you guys had a beautiful Saturday. I hope you enjoyed your reading. 
um, a little bit of difficult energy, but overall, it's only going to usher in the blessings that you deserve. So go with the flow and allow those transformations, allow endings and new beginnings are at your doorstep. So all right, air signs. I love you all. Thank you guys for coming to my channel. I send you love, light, and God bless.